All right, welcome back. Uh, this is Lone Star Mopars again. Uh, we are basically today going to go ahead and show you unboxing of the G2 brake caliper paint system. Uh, again, this is primarily for the late model guys. If you're running an older Mopar, I uh, really can't go wrong with Duplicolor. Personally, I run VHT. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. Again, then again, I've never had any real issues with Duplicolor. Uh, just VHT, I tend to like the colors better. Uh, this kit here was picked up for the uh, Lone Star Mopars Mopar 10. Uh, it's obviously their G2162 Blue. Uh, the hope here is that this is going to match the blue stripe on the Mopar 10. Uh, luckily for you, we will be doing the install, show you the finished product, you can gauge for yourself. Uh, really, for some reason, most guys do red. Uh, I'm kind of a black and blue, orange and black guy, so... I went with blue. But uh, anyway, as you can see, G2, basically whatever color you want, if you're a plum crazy guy, furious fuchsia, hemi orange, gold, I mean, they've got it. Uh, you can't tell from the box, uh, G2 actually will custom mix this stuff. Uh, it's one of those things that's going to cost a lot, but uh, the best way to approach it, get on one of the forums, Lone Star Mopars, for example, uh, go through, find some other guys. You know, it doesn't have to be late models, just anybody wanting to paint their calipers. Try to get a group by going, uh, save everybody a little money. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we'll open this up. There's an envelope here. Looks like we've got a uh, small foam brush. And I'm not an artist. Uh, can't really tell you much more about it. Uh, stair stick. Looks like it can double for a WD-40 sprayer, which everyone loses. And a popsicle stick. Uh, you know, I guess, I guess actually, I'm sorry, this is probably for your brake cleaner, which I see in the box. So yeah, popsicle stick, stair stick. Uh, again, not real high tech. Uh, nine in ten of you probably don't have to have brake cleaner included. But for the money, I mean, I guess it's one of those things makes it seem better. It is what they sent with it. Uh, Non-chlorinated, so hopefully, you know, it's going to do a good job if you use it. You know, if something goes wrong, I guess you can use that with the manufacturer. Uh, now we're getting to the good stuff here. I'll try to pull it all out for you. We've got our uh, G2 paint. I uh, labeled it blue here. Uh, didn't use the actual code. Uh, it's pretty light. If I remember right, this is probably a third halfway full. Uh, right here in this little blue vial, which is actually it's a pretty cool looking bottle, not that that means anything. <laughs> It's a leading DIY car styling half ounce. So basically this is going to be your reactor and your paint. Uh, when you're ready, you're going to mix the two together. Obviously you'll use the popsicle stick to stir. Uh, you probably have four hours or so. That's generally the time frame on this stuff. Realistically, it's not going to take you long. Uh, number one thing, just go ahead and get your wheels off, get the car off the ground, clean everything. And uh, if it takes you four hours to paint it, you're probably doing a really good job. Most people probably won't need a fraction of that time. Uh, yellow sheet, this looks like hints. Uh, you got a six month shelf life. Uh, this is probably important here. Their paint should be applied 56 to 70. Uh, if we have any Canadians or something, that'd be 13 to 21 Celsius. Uh, low relative humidity. Uh, here for me, that is not a problem. We have no humidity. Uh, let's see here. Careful opening the reactor jar, obviously. Three and a half liquid ounces of paint. Half inch liquid ounce reactor. So when you mix it all up, you're going to have four ounces. Uh, they say it's good for four calipers or two drums. Uh, so again, you know, just do light coats and then reapply. You know, don't try to cover it all at once. Oh, that's a nice decal, uh, probably not on the car, probably a toolbox for most of us. And uh, here we've got the instructions. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, just obviously we don't speak foreign languages, so we're going to be reading this one page. Uh, I'll try to highlight it for you. It's covering the decals, the setup, directions, clean. Uh, obviously you're going to want a mask, which you don't want painted. Good thing here, it's a brush. 
Uh, with VHT or Duplicolor in an aerosol can, you obviously need to mask better with a brush. As long as you're not sloppy, it's not going to be too bad. Uh, application, pour, mix, apply. Uh, wait 15 minutes between coats curing. Uh, you're looking at two hours before reinstalling the wheels and they suggest you don't use the vehicle for 24 hours. Uh, that's probably overkill, but honestly, if you take the time to do it, you set it aside on a weekend when you're not going to need to you know, go to a show or race, something to that effect. Uh, G2 Faith, 100% product, performance guarantee. Paint should flake or chip. Simply provide proof of purchase and proof of failure to G2 and we'll replace the kit at no cost. So, uh, assuming they back that, if for some reason, two months down the road, you notice you've got a flake that's come off your caliper, take a picture, shoot them an email, apparently you'll get a new kit for free. Uh, this shouldn't be too big of a deal, just, you know, we've got low miles on the M10 still, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Uh, comes kind of a dated box kind of looks European but you know again that doesn't matter uh, main thing is you've got your uh, paint and your reactor uh, they included the stir stick since we're dealing with four ounces there's actually absolutely nothing wrong with the popsicle stick a uh, little perk to the kit you know they don't have to do this but they did include the brake cleaner so you know that saves you five six bucks and a trip uh, the brush uh, again, I'm not the most artistic guy in the world. I might actually pick up a few others before we do this just to have them on hand. Maybe, you know, a finer tipped uh, brush just to get into the hard reach places. And you've got full instructions. Uh, it's really pretty basic. Uh, we'll cover more details when we actually do the install. But for those of you looking to pick up a G2 kit, it's, uh, again, complete. I want to say I gave... 39 for this. You can probably source it anywhere 39 to 70. Uh, the lower price, you know, is obviously kind of nice. That's what I do. I'm not cheap. I'm thrifty. But uh, again, you know, this is their G2162 Blue. Uh, the pictures online, you know, it's always hard to tell. You never know how many coats a guy did, how well he prepped anything. Uh, we're pretty particular here. Uh, particularly on the M, you know, the M10, so we will do a very good job. Kind of let you see how it looks from our camera, which you'll be familiar with. And again, the advantage here with G2 is you want a color, uh, and you can provide them with a sample or a code, and by gosh, they will get it for you. So again, here's your G2 brake caliper paint system. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. We'll help you out as best we can. For more information, as always, check out the Lone Star Mopar's online magazine. Thanks.